What's going on everybody? Welcome to another fly tying video. Thank you for joining. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, in the vise today we've just got a uh, Hannock 530. This is a uh, barbless hook. Um, in the bead we've just got a 764 tungsten bead. This is in black. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this this uh, orange sickle started. So this is just a, a variation to the scud. I tie this one in orange. <clears throat> so to start this guy off, we just use some UTC 70. This is in the maroon color, burgundy. Go ahead and start a thread base. For the ribbing of this scud, we're just gonna use some <clears throat> UTC wire in silver. It's gonna be uh, small size go ahead and secure your wire down the shank the hook <clears throat> bring your thread back up so we're actually going to be tying this scud with a dubbing loop <clears throat> so once you secure your wire go ahead and form your dubbing loop doesn't need to be too big. Once your dubbing loop is made, go ahead and bring your thread back up to the eye or back behind the bead. Then grab your uh, your dubbing spinner. I have this uh, the new Stonfo. This thing is a beauty. <coughs> Works great. It's very smooth. The tension on it is really nice. So, you can use any dubbing you want. I like this orange um, South Scud dubbing from Wopsy. So, to do this, I just like to take a decent pinch, go ahead and slide it into your <coughs> dubbing loop, and then to secure it in there, go ahead and when you pull down on your Stomfo, or your dub on this dubbing tool, it actually tightens the thread down and pinches that dubbing into place. So go ahead and grab another pinch, open up, open it back up, put the dubbing in there, and then tighten it down. It'll pinch that thread together to secure it. I do about three pinches of dubbing, not a whole lot. The fly isn't very long, so you don't need too much. So once you get it, just go ahead and give it a spin. Create your dubbing rope. Can't see it all the way in the camera, but <clears throat> it's got a nice little dubbing rope. Go ahead and just use a little Velcro or a brush or whatever you have and brush it out a little bit. From here, I just like to use the rotary feature on my vise and take touching wraps with this dubbing loop up the body of my fly <laughs> go ahead and take your time you don't need to rush this See, get my thread out of there. Once you get up to the eye, right behind the bead, go ahead and tighten that your little dubbing loop. Secure the bead in place. Then you can just capture that with your thread. Couple wraps in front and a wrap behind, and just go ahead and come in here, clip that off. Now you've got yourself a nice little buggy body. Now, from here, I'm just going to take your wire, go ahead and rib the fly. It's okay if you pull some of those fibers <clears throat> down because we're just going to brush them out. So once you get back up to the bead, secure your wire, 
and then helicopter it off. So now you have a nice ribbed body. From here, I just like to grab a little brush. You can use your Velcro if you want. Pull out some of the fibers from the sides, from the bottom, and mat them down. <clears throat> so now you can just whip finish. Build yourself a little collar. And to finish this fly, I like to uh, put some UV resin on the hard shell of a scud, just to kind of imitate that. But before that, make sure you have, you comb out the sides nicely, make it look really buggy, and then mat them down, and you want a, a flat area to lay that, that flow. I use the thick for this a little bit thicker it builds up and it doesn't run through the material like the flow does so just go ahead and build yourself a little scud back with this and then I like to come in here with my bodkin and just make sure that looks nice and even can be a little rough getting it to look right, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, once you feel good with that, go ahead and cure that resin. And there you go. Then you can come in here and snip some of the long fibers out. Maybe brush it out a little more. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time.